Hey everyone, I'm April with Jensen USA and today I'll be talking about a variety of gloves that I've been riding in recently. Gloves are the one item that I'm definitely the most picky about, but your hands are such an important factor while riding. And I was also a product designer for about 10 years where gloves are one item that I've spent a lot of time working on. And with that being said, let's start talking about the gloves. First up is the Troy Lee Ace glove that comes in at $39.99. This is my favorite glove because this is a true minimalist glove that gives you the no glove feeling. And it has really thin materials, a slip on design, and it just snugs your hand really well. The top of the glove and the forchettes have a mesh material that keep it ventilated for if it's hot out. And the palm material has a soft suede-like feel to it and has perforated holes all throughout. It also has touchscreen compatible fingers, works very well when I used it. And overall, this glove is just built very well and it fits me perfect. So that's what makes it the perfect glove for me. Next up is the Pearl Izumi Summit Glove that comes in at $30. And based on everything about this glove, the price, the fit, materials, I think this is a good standard all around glove. The top material is a ripstop material, which helps it with durability for snags and branches, all that. And the palm has a nice soft feel to it as well. It's perforated some, and it has the touch screen, which also worked for me. I think it fits very well. It's also pretty lightweight and for my picky side the only thing i would change about this glove is where the velcro is located i prefer it on the underside of the wrist because it's easier to get tighter pull on it and it you don't get bunching on the top of your hand when you're riding but it's a minimal thing most people probably won't notice this is just my super pickiness if i'm going to say anything about it other than that it's a really great glove the third glove is the most complex out of this group and is so well built it is the troy lee gambit glove that comes in at 44.99 and i definitely think it's worth the cost they put so many details in this glove it is so well built you can tell that they've been doing this for a long time and the feature that people will probably like the most is the molded d3o insert at the knuckles right here that help protect you from branches or crashing too. I also really appreciate the attention to detail that they have on the wrist because I really like my gloves to fit tight right there. And the Velcro strap is exactly where I love it to be and it has a nice little point that I can pull it on with. Also the material is a neoprene fabric that was compression molded and laser cut. So they have a nice shape that they can get easy and it just fits so snug and nice. It also has iPhone compatible touchscreen fingers, which works very well. And I think the fit is really good. I'm really impressed with the shape of the fingers. That's something I'm also super picky about with gloves. It's just super solid and a really good glove if you're looking for the ultimate glove. And the last glove that surprised me the most was the Giro D&D glove that comes in at $25. And what surprised me about this glove is it is built very well. It has some extra details to it for the price that it is. It has the terry material on the thumb for its sweat. And I forgot to mention that the Pearl Summit glove and the Troy Lee Ace glove also have a material on the thumb as well for wiping. The materials are also really good. It's exactly what I'd expect for a go-to glove. The top is nice and stretchy. It feels durable as well. The palm has a nice soft leather that I really like. And it also has a tab to pull it on, which I found very convenient makes it really easy and quick. And then you'll notice that they have some extra shape in the palm and there's an extra padded material here on the outside, which I unfortunately or fortunately for you guys got to test out in a crash when I was in Santa Cruz. and I could see a lot of dirt was right here so it worked I was using it and it kept my hands protected I did have just below where the glove wasn't I had some scratch marks so it fully did its job and I'm really stoked that I was able to test that some other details that they have are some extra gussets here on the knuckles of the middle index and thumb fingers it kind of provides a tighter feel to the glove for me and extra movement 
I'm just curious why they didn't do it on the ring and pinky finger. It creates a little bit of unbalance for me. For my OCD, I want every glove to feel the same. I don't know if that was a cost thing or what factor made them do that, but I do really like it. And the touch screen works as well. The silicone grippers are really grippy. I kind of questioned if it was too much, but once I was riding, I was totally fine. The only thing for me on fit is it is a little bit looser on the wrist than I prefer, but I know some people do like that. This is a really solid glove as well. And like I said, I am happily surprised with how this glove is and I ended up wearing it more than I thought. So to summarize the gloves quick, I think they all fit and are built very well. The touchscreen works on all of them and each one has features that fit them well and is priced just right. I hope this video is helpful for you in picking out a glove and I'll see you next time. Thanks.